am Veronica Hill, host of California Travel Tips here at the magnificent Hearst Castle in San Simeon. newspaper man William Randolph Hearst and famed architect Julia Morgan, this 71,000 square foot compound was the last great estate built during America's Gilded Age. Perched on a hilltop 1,600 feet above the crashing waves of the Pacific, Hearst's magnificent castle is located halfway between LA and San Francisco near the town of Cambria. Start your Hearst Castle tour at the Visitor Center located right off Highway 1. The experience tour is one of five offered at the castle and is recommended for first-time visitors. Passing through the main gate, we look down and awe at the sparkling Pacific Ocean, Santa Lucia Mountains, and rolling green hills that inspired Hearst to build here in 1919. The Neptune Pool, with its impressive Greco-Roman colonnades, Vermont marble statues, remnants from Roman temples, and 17th century bas-reliefs is a highlight on each tour. The white marble pool is 10 feet at its deepest point and 104 feet long, featuring a unique oil-burning heating system. Of all Hearst guest houses, Casa del Sol is one of the most beautiful. This 8-bedroom, 2,600-square-foot Moorish retreat with sweeping views of the Pacific opens up to Central Plaza. The plaza and outer terraces are a great spot to relax and admire the beautiful gardens, fountains, ponds, and priceless sculptures. The 60,000 square foot Casa Grande, designed in the Mediterranean Revival style, is a palatial site. Architectural historian Lord John Norwich called it a palace in every sense of the word. In fact, the castle has more than 22,000 museum quality artifacts shipped from around the world. There are 14 sitting rooms in Casa Grande, but the assembly room was where Hearst guests gathered around 6.30 p.m. to enjoy cocktails, play cards, or enjoy a game of Monopoly before dinner. At 8 p.m., guests moved into the refectory, the only dining room in the castle. Here, Hearst enjoyed lavish meals with his mistress Marion Davies and about 15 famous visitors, always making sure there was plenty of ketchup, pickles, and mustard to go around. The kitchen, built in 1927, featured electric appliances and the latest in modern conveniences for its time. It looks much like it did during its heyday, including spoons for enjoying bone marrow, a delicacy at the time. After enjoying a fine meal, guests retreated to the 50-seat movie theater or took a dip in the indoor Roman pool, styled after the Italian baths of Caracalla and mausoleum of Gala Placidia. Thanks for coming along on our tour of the magnificent Hearst Castle. Now go make those reservations and enjoy this palace on the Pacific.